Hey Turtle Nerds, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I have to tell you guys about a big problem that I have with this pond. There's actually a couple things wrong with it, but today's video I'm gonna go over everything, the issue with it, and how I'm gonna be fixing how things are. So let's get right into it. So as you guys know, I built this 500 gallon pond last summer in order to house all of my turtles for when they're too large for me to bring to school. And generally I kind of just wanted a pond for all my turtles. I like to get them outside and put them in natural sunlight. But there is one issue uh, that I ran into. The fact that this might be a temporary pond. Let me tell you more about that. Um, we bought this house, but there was no guarantee that we were staying. Therefore, I built everything very temporarily. You can see I didn't cover up any of the liner. You can see the filter is sort of just barely trickling out because the pump is undersized. Water changes are hard. There's no skimmer. There's a lot of things wrong with this pond, but the one big issue is that I am moving. Therefore, this entire pond, uh, the whole thing needs to be torn down. I need to take this, fill it in because the homeowners don't want the pond. Uh, they don't want the existing pond, so it's not even like I can just take the turtles and the equipment and leave it. I need to take this whole thing down and then fill it. If you guys remember from a previous video, I took all of the dirt from here, put it in a wheelbarrow, and brought it down here. Uh, and so I spent my last weekend, I took a day off from the TSA internship coupled with my weekend. That gives me three days to get everything done, get this filled, and get the turtles to a new pond. I took the dirt from here and shoveled it back into a wheelbarrow and brought it all back up, uh, coupled with a couple of bags of topsoil. I think that this should be enough to fill back in the pond. And so this is gonna be a process that I have to do tomorrow, but for today I'm gonna get as much done as I can because we still have one more night in this home. Now this pond has cinder blocks that go all the way around it and they are filled with dirt. And so today's plan is to take the pond, drain half of the water, get out all of the decorations and things, except for maybe a piece of wood or two, just so they have something to hold on to, and then see if I can get behind the liner and get all of the cinder blocks. These are actual bricks for holding the chicken wire, but there are actual cinder blocks all the way around. If you can see how flat and sort of cube shaped this is, rectangular I should say, you will notice that it is made of cinder blocks. I want to keep those cinder blocks because they're good and they cost me money and I'm trying to save that money and therefore I am going to make an effort to make this as painless as possible tomorrow, get everything done as quickly as possible and then I have to redig this whole pond back at my new house. But for right now I have some work to get done. So let's go ahead and get this pond drain. I take my tube here that I have running outside of the pond. Oh, wait a minute, I don't need that. The turtles can go at least a day or two without filtration. I can use my 800 gallon an hour pump to empty it. Let me just take my media. This is the biological media that I'm gonna put in the pond in order to save all the bacteria and good stuff that's on it. So we're gonna take this, drop it right in there. I will throw out these filter pads and I will unscrew that and just run it into the yard and let it flow. So while the water clarity may not be great because of a waterborne algae that I have from an increase in nitrates, you can see there's a lot of micro life that's been living in this filter, which is a sign of good water quality. I've also tested the water quality and it is actually completely zero in ammonia, nitrites, and nitrates. The reason that it's zero in nitrates is because that waterborne algae, that green stuff, is eating it all because I have no plants. Rather than plants, there is algae that will be eating that nitrate. So why don't I go ahead, pop this out, here are the filter pads, get right down at that little screw, and this might be a two-handed job. Cool, so this works too. The pipe came right off of the end of this. So I'm going to take this thing, rinse it out, make sure it's not disgusting, sort of gather all of the other materials that I have around the pond into one spot. And let me think of one more thing. Oh, yeah, start draining it. The water is drained and I figured that I would be able to just pull up the liner over here and be able to get these cinder blocks moved, but I did a pretty good job cementing them in. So I need to dig a trench all around in order to just get the liner up 
and then pull the cinder blocks from underneath and see how that goes. Hopefully if I really grind out, I might be able to finish before it gets dark and before the storm comes. These are two of the many cinder blocks that I have running underneath the liner. This is underlayment and you can see I'm actually able to get right back under here. And I've packed these suckers in, but I should be able to pull them loose. Yeah, and move them to get them out. The point is I can move them and I can get them out. Day two, it is about 6.45 in the morning. I'm gonna grab that tub there and put jelly and all of his stuff, uh, all of his plant material and his little basking log and his little decorations. So all, and all of his leaves as well, all of this stuff is gonna go in that container. My new house has a fenced in like porch, which is, uh, excuse me, screened in, which is stupendous because I can put my turtles in tubs and not have to cover them and worry about them and not have to worry about predators getting in, which is super cool. So he's gonna go in that tub and then I'm gonna put all the turtles in that 120 gallon tub, not even filled with water. It's just gonna temporarily hold them until the pond is filled and I can get over to the other house and start setting up their super day temporary enclosures. All the turtles are happy. Okay, now I might as well get this sucker draining. Unplug the filter here. Plug this in so the water begins to drain. Oh, come on, why am I having a difficult time? Oh, that's right, it's 6.45, I'm sleepy. Cool, the pipe came off immediately. I just need this to start the siphon. Oh, sorry, Jelly. Oh, sorry, little Jelly Belly. He's gonna be one unhappy little turt is two decorations this fake plant all of these live plants uh wisteria all up in here this is anacris this was starting to take off which is cool these are all plants that i got from the pet store that i put in his mini pond this is a whole mess of water sprite that's starting to grow up and out of the water how cool is that oh it's beautiful i love it i'm so happy that that did well okay here is little baby jelly. He's growing up super well and he's starting to get all these little spots everywhere around as well besides just his big spots there. But I'm gonna put him right in this plant matter and let him crawl around and go wherever he feels comfortable. And I'm gonna keep pulling out these leaves. Now that this tub is empty and the turtles have a place to go, I can pull off the chicken wire, let this continue to drain, pull the turtles out, put them in here, take apart some of this fence, probably just the middle part so I can push the dirt in, take up the liner, pull out the cinder blocks, stack them over there and fill it and then bring the cinder blocks and everything back over and make this look not terrible. Part of the issue as well with the pond is that these were pretty stable, but beginning to fall apart and get eaten by termites and ants and all of those fun little creatures. You can see those holes drilled inside of them. This fence was not going to last at all. I have like no time to spare. We have to have the U-Haul truck back by 10 o'clock. It's like seven, we have to be loaded up by eight. Here's everything, here's all the wood I had to pull out because the wood was on top of the liner. The liner is right over there. So now I'm just gonna fill it with the wood fence because it's infested with termites. Take all this dirt, backfill. Here's some of the cinder blocks. Here's three of them, underlayment and liner. And here are the cinder blocks that I have that used to be all around. So now I'm gonna get everything loaded up for the truck because the truck takes priority over filling this hole. Cinder blocks are all moved and taken to the other house. I am now filling this I have to do it a little more neatly with the wood and then put dirt uh, and then this should be enough to fill it hopefully but we will see i am now happy with how much wood there is in here i feel like the dirt will be enough to cap it off so now i need to get my rake over there and begin raking all of this dirt into there i am almost finished uh cleaning this up I need to rake the last little bit of dirt back that way, sort of level it out a little bit so it's gradually sloping this way because that's the way it was before I dug it out. And then I need to add a couple of bags of mulch to make this look not like trash. Hello, termites. These are what have been 
drilling holes and eating my wooden border. This is why this border would have never lasted. The hole is generally filled and sloped the way that I want it to be. Also, this butterfly keeps hanging out over here. Anyway, it's time for mulch. There used to be a whole pond here this morning. So with the amount of mulch I have, this is what I was able to do. I also put it too far back, so the borders are really cruddy. But this is it. All done. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out here at the Turtle Survival Center with a couple of box turtles at the intern house. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments what you think of my old pond. And if you guys have had any experiences kind of like this where you have to tear down something that you put a lot of effort into. If you want to see more of what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button and turn on the little bell notification thingy to get notified when I make a new video. Thank you again so much for watching and do not worry because I have another pond already in the works. Thank you guys again and I will see you all in the next one.